Welcome to South Park City Museum, a 19th century mining boom town in 21st century Colorado. Hello, my name is Brian Cushing from the Victorian Bar Room. We've been here all week doing collaborative projects with South Park City Museum, but today I want to take you through the dentist's office and barber shop. In today's video, we are going to explore a unique building at South Park City, which is home to two businesses, the barber shop and the dentist's office. This might seem like an odd combination today, but barbering and dentistry historically coexisted for hundreds of years. Historic evidence shows that men were having their hair cut and faces shaved by professionals as far back as the Bronze Age. In ancient Rome, barber shops could be found all over the city and were a social center of news and gossip. During the 17th century, when dentistry got its start, doctors of the time didn't practice dentistry at all as it was still a new science. So, barbers picked up the trade, possibly because they already owned the sharp tools needed for the procedures. Barbers happily practiced dentistry until into the 1800s. Then, dentists and barbers started to practice independently. However, people were still used to the professions being connected, so it was not uncommon to see a place like this where the barber and the dentist still practiced under one roof. This was especially true in places like Fair Play, where building materials were still expensive and difficult to come by. Barber shops in America flourished between the 1880s and the 1930s. Barbers saw regular customers on a nearly daily basis for haircuts, beard trims, and warm shaves. It also served as an important place socially because it was a place where men could, like the Romans did, catch up with friends and stay current on local news and politics. You can see here that there are two chairs situated together. This hasn't changed much over the years. Similar setups can be seen in barbershops today. The shelf would hold the shaving cups of regular customers ready for their next shave. Hair tonics, lotions, and other ointments were kept close at hand. In mining towns like Fair Play, the barber offered another important service, a hot bath. Local miners would come into town on Saturday night dirty from the mines, displaying shaggy hair and whiskers. Their first stop was the barber shop to get a shave, haircut, and a much needed hot bath. This area hosts three bathtubs. No hot water faucets here. The water was heated on a stove by the pailful and emptied into the tub. It is surely not the easiest way to get a bath, but it was well worth it to be rid of the sand and grime. Imagine the tales told here as the men scrubbed themselves with long-handled brushes. The talk of new gold strikes, a recent hanging, or some intriguing town gossip was sure to be discussed. Just down the hall is the dentist's office and its opulently furnished waiting room. Here we can see Victorian trends in dental care. The dental equipment on display here was used by Dr. McKenna to treat patients of the Breckenridge and Fairplay area and is estimated to be more than 100 years old. The tall wooden cabinet with its countertop and drawers for instruments is quite similar to the ones used in dental offices today. On display here are a dental chair covered with red velvet and featuring a crystal spitting bowl. A foot-operated drill sits at its side. Just the idea of having a tooth drilled with this slow piece of equipment, which did more grinding than drilling, makes one shudder. Crude drills, files, forceps, small lances, and other items can be seen spread out on the table and countertops. Other instruments are placed in a mahogany box lined with green velvet resting on a table. Pulling teeth was done with a turnkey, actually a doctor's tool, and was an excruciating way to extract teeth. 
In the early days of Old West dentistry, the patient was given no anesthetic. No wonder it was common practice for those people with a toothache to fortify themselves with a stiff drink of whiskey before having the doc work on their teeth. In many mining camps, the patient brought his own gold or silver to the doctor to fill his teeth. A very convenient arrangement. Fortunately, the dental profession has made great strides since the 1800s. If you would like to see these artifacts in person, South Park City Museum is open from May 15th to October 15th every year. As a nonprofit organization, South Park City survives on the proceeds from ticket sales and private donations. If you'd like to contribute, the link to our donation page is below. Donation from this video will be put to work maintaining our historic buildings and will help conserve over 60,000 artifacts. What do you think of taking a bath in a room with two other people? What do you think it would have been like to go to an Old West dentist? What other topics would you like to see covered on this channel? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, please support South Park City by giving us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.